Greetings, I'm Jim Saufeld, CEO of Church Extension Fund. We thank you for taking some time to learn more about Church Extension Fund today. At CEF, our core mission has remained the same for over 100 years. We help build Lutheran churches and schools in the Michigan District through our mortgage loan program. And we provide competitive investment instruments to our members that not only earn a good rate of return, but help build the kingdom here in Michigan. Rather than hearing from CEF management, we thought you would like to hear from those who are impacted by Church Extension Fund, whether it's through our loans, our grants, or the services that we provide. Church Extension Fund, personally, at a, at a family level, has been a blessing to Megan and I and the kids. We came from five years at my first call where we lived in a parsonage, so coming from there we didn't have a home to sell, uh, no equity to bring with us, and Church Extension Fund uh, both uh, got us into that home through a, a home mortgage and still holds that mortgage to this day and has been uh, beautiful to work with at, at a personal level. On a congregational level, um, when it comes to this expansion, when it comes to needing to borrow money, we could go down to talk with the local bank and they would have nothing to look at us uh, about or concerning other than our bottom line. You are interested in seeing the gospel advance in the lives of God's people at New Hope. We couldn't have done it without Church Extension Fund. The resources simply weren't there. And I like to think of it this way, Church Extension Fund receives its funding from members of the district. So this congregation contributed, people within the congregation with greater means contributed. Actually, you look at it, the whole district contributed to build this building. The Church Extension Fund was very patient with us. And our understanding of the process at times probably wasn't as perfect as it should be. I think we had some romantic notions, sort of like we got a rich uncle who lives in Ann Arbor and all we have to do is hold out our hand. And uh, it was really made clear to us, well, we have the funds, but remember, we're managing the funds of all the people in the district. It isn't from a printing press in the basement. So I think we had a better understanding of our role with uh, CEF as ministry partners. But what we're sitting in now, we would not have. I'm looking forward to going to high school and really growing in my faith, hoping to meet some friends that share faith with me and maybe even bring some new friends to church if they don't know Jesus. I'm also really looking forward to seeing the new building because it's looking really awesome right now. We didn't have enough money up front or enough pledges up front to do what needed to be done here to expand, but yet CEF was able to loan us money and we were able to partner with them to actually witness some very awesome growth of our physical plant at a time when our membership was expanding and people were wanting to come and our facilities were just not adequate. And so to have partners here with CEF to walk alongside of us while we were growing and the Lord was doing something very special here, it, to me has been very exciting. I think what I appreciate most is the security that you feel. There's something very special about working with a group of Christians and you know that your best interest is at heart for them because they're doing God's work with the money that you give them but in turn they're also watching out for you too. I think this the CEF is um, special for the same reasons that I think that our school is special because they elevate Jesus you know, that it, they're not just a financial organization they care about the things that are close to God's heart. That's been something where Church Extension Fund is separated because you're not about just bricks and mortar, you're about what does this do with ministry? And that's something that, that came clear to me right away and was a blessing to us was your questions were not only about making sure we can afford what we're doing so that we're good stewards of everything God's given to us, but also was really wanting to make sure that we had a vision for how this would impact the kingdom. It's a win-win. I describe it as a win-win. When my older children ask me, well, why should we invest in church extension fund? Why should we put my money in our savings there? I said, it's because it's a win-win. I explained to them that we wouldn't have the chapel and be uh, able to have bought the chapel at Eastern without the help of church extension fund. And by investing their money, they get a return on their money, but they also get to bless the ministries of the church, which of course, because we're invested so highly in Eastern, we think of Eastern first, but it's all of the churches, all the schools, all the, the, the different ministries that benefit from it. I do believe in their mission. If I can do my small part to further that mission, 
then I, I will put some of my money into that organization. We thought, what better way to, to, to spread the gospel and still you're making money? Okay, I mean, what better, what, who, who could turn that down? It's trying to get parents to realize that teaching your kids to save and having them be a part of that program, but then I'm also teaching them we're helping build a church or a school. I know with Church Extension Fund that the money's gonna stay in the district and the money's gonna benefit, help Concordia, help the university ministries, help churches, help schools. It's, I want my children to understand that we have to be good stewards of our resources and if we invest in something where we get, not only get interest, which is cool, but we also get to be in mission. And that to me, is, I, can't, I don't know how else to explain it except it's a win-win. It was quite a surprise to ha uh, hear that we were able to have a gift uh, grant come from CEF. We were able to apply that money in a way that uh, really helped us uh, in, in a, several ways. First, it was through our robotics team. Uh, that was something we never had before. And now we had monies available to us to invest. Uh, that, that startup was uh, pretty involved. Another opportunity we had was to continue finishing off the preschool playground that we had just recently installed. We've got a trustee that found out about it. He got some money, says, I've got some money. We can do some new plantings, and I'm excited. And we've got a lot of volunteers to rip stuff up, cut down trees. It's hard work. Uh, we enjoyed it. People come in now, and they look at it and they have a little smile on their face, so it was a big plus for us, yeah. I'd like to walk you through some of the improvements that we were able to make with the Church Extension Fund Aesthetic Grant Program that was given to us this past year. Here in the narthex, we did additional lighting to accent some of our artwork. In this case, we've got a wood statue that was uh, given to us years ago. And we took the opportunity to really put a highlight onto that element. Behind us here, we have the Jesus in the Little Lamb's mosaic. We recently reconditioned that space and put a accent lighting on it, as well as some of the stained glass window up in the uh, tip of the narthex. Here we are entering Trinity's Gymnasium. As I mentioned earlier, the gymnasium not only serves purposes for the children of our day school, but also for our weekend contemporary worship. We'll take a walk up to the stage here and take a look at some of the work that's done on this stage as a part of the aesthetic grant. We did new stage curtains around the backdrop, as well as stage lighting and some other finishes to the stage. Church Extension Fund and Trinity Lutheran Church, we've been in partnership for over 100 years together in several different ministries and Trinity has been blessed by the leadership, uh, by the wisdom, and just the provisions that Church Extension Fund has been able to give to us. And my hope, my prayer as a pastor is that everyone that's hearing this, that you would know that there's a great partnership awaiting for you in Church Extension Fund. One thing you hear when you get in the church now is this buzz, the buzz. People say, wow, that's a nice buzz because people want to be here. They want to hear God's word and uh, hopefully they want to share God's word. And it's all really about having a new, whole new attitude about what purpose your church serves. We would have been one of those churches that probably would have closed down. I want this be, uh, church to grow and I want the community to to learn Christ. The gift planning ministry at Church Extension Fund is there to help the members of the Lutheran churches here in Michigan to look at all the blessings that they have and help to decide what they want to do with those gifts, preparing for the time that they get the best gift going to heaven. What I get the opportunity to do is make presentations to congregations explaining to them the importance of having a plan in place, a will, a revocable living trust, Christian communication, but also looking at leaving something back to the ministries that are most important to them. We're up to about 45, 50% of our giving every Sunday through Excel and Giving, and that way it's just a tremendous blessing to us. And we also heard from our people that they enjoyed it as well. Excel and Giving 
is making a big difference in the life of our congregation. We knew that we needed to go this route, but what was always the uh, hindrance was the monthly fee and the per transaction fees. So by CEF uh, providing that monthly fee, and all we have to do is uh, handle the uh, transaction fee, that's a, a great benefit for the church. The setup for getting your church ready to accept electronic gifts was very simple. Excel and Giving works through a company called Kindred and they have a tre tremendous support staff. They have assigned us a local phone number so that people can text to give, which makes it very convenient even when they're at a dinner or something if they want to support the life of that part of the fellowship meal together. I would hope every church offers this to their congregation. Not everybody going to take part in it, but the very fact that you're offering it shows that you're uh, knowing that people are handling their money differently. We have a wonderful ministry relationship, a working relationship with the Church Extension Fund of the Michigan District. These are marvelous individuals who have a continued passion for the gospel of Jesus Christ. I have to tell you, for the churches that use them and are able to borrow funds from them at a lower interest rate, what a blessing that is. The terms are better. We know that that helps them think and dream about future ministries. And for church workers coming into the district, where they can even get loans to help them with down payments or for the mortgage of their home itself, it is an incredible gift that God gives to them through the Church Extension Fund of the Michigan District. I express my great gratitude to them because they are amazing people, they have an amazing ministry, and I know that the best is yet to come. May God not only bless what they've done and what they are doing, but may He help them and the Michigan District together to do what He wants to bless. God be with them.